Sometimes I had too many beers, which I gladly do and which I fully embrace. Working out, automatic. Quacking out, automatic. Catholic all-girls schools, automatic. Still is. Pledge to you today, I will never ever ride a bicycle. The Wild Wild West. Just say it. Yo, fuck BT. Fuck BT, bro. <laughs> fuck that. Yo, for real though, fuck BT. For real, fuck them. <laughs> fuck BT, dude. With they with their homophobic ass. I hate that shit. I was yeah. trying to watch the awards and I saw that homophobia and I was like, I was, you know, I was following on Twitter with the BT yeah. awards, like live tweeting and everything. Be like, oh shit. And I saw the homophobia and I was like, man, fuck BET. Me and dude. my dad sat down to watch the <laughs> BET Awards. <laughs> and both got disgusted by the homophobia. We both said, yeah, I like it. Crowd it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry about that. <laughs> you let me do my job. <laughs> turn it turn it off, I guess. Or you can't scrub it out. I can't, but I'll turn it down. <sighs> fuck Sean Gardini. need AC, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I like it cold. It's, it's so oppy, dude. dude. It's so, so oppy right now. It's so oppy. Gardini might be the ops. <laughs> You're the fucking ops, dude. You think so? Gardo, when are you going to stop opping, bro? Oh, shit. Turn the TV on. Turn it off with my thick ass. Did you turn the TV, dude? My little thicky. <laughs> All right. How are you, dude? <laughs> good, man. I slept till 7 a.m. today. I'm feeling good. Whoa. Sleeping in. Full 7 a.m. Lazy bones. Full 7 Must be nice. I'll tell you what. It was. <laughs> today, On the woke up on the bean bag. Fucking. You woke up on the bag? Yeah. Maya wakes up at like 5 every morning, so I try to put her back down. If I lay on the bean bag, she'll, there's like a good chance she'll fall asleep, but I immediately pass out. So I just fucking wake up on a beanbag on my back just like ugh. yeah and i look at the light through the blinds and i'm like fuck it's still five i looked it was bright sunlight i was like i made it that's all awesome. i made it till 7 a.m damn how how like what are your sleeping hours like right now uh i go to bed at like last night was a little late it was like 10 30 yeah so i was kind of not happy about that went to bed at 10 30 i get woken up every two hours by the one baby crying and then, one baby. <laughs> yeah, so the one baby's just fully crying, has a cold right now. So you just hear like, yeah, like a, you know, like a, you're like, oh, I hope it's breathing. But so it's like 1030 to about 11. I wake up around like 11 usually. And then I fall back asleep till like two. I get woken up again. And then I fall asleep till like five. And then I wake up. And then usually I'm up. But today I got blessed. And I you, ever, till you ever think about neglecting your children and be like, I'm sleeping? Yeah, there's like little tools you can use where it's like give them five minutes if they put themselves back to bed. You can kind of go, which does work sometimes. Sometimes they're not fully awake, but there's some people like give them a half an hour. That's like, eh. I'm giving them a fucking half hour, dude. So here's what happens. You, people think that and this is nobody's this is, waking my uh, ass up. Dude, you'll wake your ass up. Yesterday, I thought I was like, let me just go down there and see what's up. Dude, I was like, I woke up. I'm like, all right, nice. It's five o'clock. We'll go back and bring you upstairs. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's always five o'clock somewhere, dude. I was like, <laughs> let's bring you back up to our bed. That's the silver bullet, dude. They pass out. If you bring them yeah. back up to mom, I mean, you know, mommy, mommy, daddy's, daddy's, mommy daddy's bed is an absolute. I mean, that's paradise until you're like, <sighs> till you're too old. True. Till you're like five ten. <laughs> till yeah. you're like yeah. six feet tall. You're till big. You, till you're as tall as me. Till you're big, you're getting in that bed. You got to walk under. You're too tall for this ride. Having me as I was a big fucking kid, dude. Oh, man, I was big. Just thrashing around. Just being like one, 150 pounds. Being like, can I get in your bed? <laughs> it's like God. That's damn what it. my dad claims about Billy. Billy was going in there. My dad claims that the day he felt Billy's stubble hit his, <laughs> he was like, dude, get the fuck out. <laughs> But dude, the, yeah, you gonna put smart off Billy. That's my dad. That's my dad's story. 
<laughs> we all do. There was a long line for mommy and daddy's bedroom. Yeah. But Billy had, Billy was like towards the tail end of the family. So he got a nice tour in the bed. That was my dad's story. He felt the stubble. Yeah. He's like, all right, bro. No. Yeah, it's time. He, he, he smelled Billy's coffee breath. He's like, oh, dude. <laughs> we were all terrified of the dark. Why? All, I don't know. I'm t- I, I'm like not terrified anymore as much, but Billy was terrified of the dark. I was terrified of the dark. The, told you, I used the to dark's wake, scary. I used to wake up in the middle of the night and just go around and systematically wake the rest of my family up and run back into bed. Because if I, I didn't mind the dark so much, I didn't like being the only one awake. Mm. If I was awake and no one else was awake, I was like, no, nah, this isn't You're right. a menace. I would wake up. You're a go, nightcrawler. You'd I would go, go room, <laughs> just <laughs> room to room. Just fucking, I would yes. throw stuff at people and they'd be like, huh? and I'd run back to my bed and be like, and I would fall asleep. That's fun. It's just karma now that I'm experiencing. But dude, I walked, <laughs> yesterday morning, I walked down like nice 5 a.m., coming up to our bed, let's go to bed. I felt her diaper. I'm like, oh, you got a dry diaper because we're potty training her. So I'm like, nice. She didn't pee her diaper. So I'm like, let's pop this down, take a pee on the potty. We'll go back upstairs. I go to pull her pull up down and my thumb just fully submerges in shit. Just all the way down. And it's I'm in a dark because you don't want to turn on lights. So I'm in a dark room and all I can the only sense telling me my thumbs and shit is my touch. And I just go and you feel almost like the granules. You feel almost like on a grainy level. Yeah. Just on my thumb. And then it's like it's Do a they, full Is it always a fucking slop pile? <laughs> the babies ever take like a decent dry log? Once they turn <laughs> they two drop logs. Yes, they start doing they start like doing dog shit. They start doing logs that protrude out of their pants. It's so funny. Because you're like, you were at the playground the other day. I was like, Are you shit? Because they'll like get real weird. Yeah. They'll, they'll slink. She slunk off and I'm like, Are you going poop? And she was like, No. They always go. No, and then it was just a literally Pinocchio nose <laughs> sticking out of the, out of her butt. I'm like, lie, dude, dude, come on, this yeah, is they, a lie. They kids love denying turds. Oh, big time. My nephew will go. He likes to shit in other rooms. Really? So he'll sneak off to another room and just shit his pants, and then come back in. <laughs> like what's up? And everyone will be like, "What? What do you just do?" <gasps> Nothing, nothing man nothing i was just over there just chilling i wanted to check out that room i wanted to see what was going on in the dining room <laughs> i wanted to stand under the table in the dining room <laughs> just see what's up <laughs> just stand i don't and know I stand the shit. oh dude just stand a little just a little bit of torque action on yeah, the belly core engage the core it's, crap dude their eyes just fucking go <laughs> yeah, they go far eyes. It's dude. crazy. It's the same face you always make. Your face, dude. All of your attention's at your ass. It's so funny thinking they can hide it as a little kid, just being like, right, "I'm gonna dip out real quick. Yeah. I don't feel like having them pull my pants down and wipe my ass right now. I'm gonna shit, keep it cool. No have, one's gonna know. Have you been? <laughs> I'm gonna pull this off. <laughs> I'm about o for a thousand on this. <laughs> Today's the day I pull it off and no one notices. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd I'd like to neglect kids if I had a kid. Yeah, that's that's. I'd a, leave them on the floor. I I was talking to my chiropractor. I'm like, dude, it's two two paths. You just fucking. You just chatting with your chiropractor. Yeah, I had I was chatting with my chiropractor. We're talking. He <laughs> he grew up on a resort town, in at the beach. Like so, he grew up doing beach that's resorts. How become a chiropractor. Yeah, and he well he was saying. You putting sweat on chiropractic faces? Yeah, that shit's fake, bro. What are you talking about, dude? No, I have no idea. You should read the binder in his office. Uh, I will. It's just a lot, the of binder? Good, a lot of good facts. There's a binder. You walk in, you flip through. It's like, did you know chiropractic works very well? And you're like, yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Do you know this shit's not fake? <laughs> That's always a nice sign when you enter an office. Be like, yo, this is real. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you it works. I got to adjust. They have, beef, I believe you. they have beef with PTs. PTs and chiropractors are fucking... Yeah, they trash each other while they're working. Very oppie between PTs and The ops are outside. It's getting oppie outside. (laughs) I just checked the weather. (laughs) But no, he was talking about the the dangers of when your job is nothing but fun and games. So he he knew... Yeah, there's some dangers. That's what he was talking about. And I was saying how, yeah, when you have kids, especially doing like, you know, you're a fucking legendary podcaster. I was like, it's all fun and games. When you become a broadcasting legend the way you had... (laughs) It's all fun and games. It's fun time. It's time to dick off with my friends. It's fun and games. And it's like, I was like, dude, you have to go. Do I keep? Because he was talking about his his daughter who's like 28. And he was like, yeah, man. 28. Or I was, I guess, 28. But he, she was like the, the age where women start to kind of want a family, his words, but they're still getting hammered all the time. Yeah. Now he's like, that's a tough time. He's like, you keep the party going. Or do you have a family? I'm like, got to pick one or the other, bro. Yeah. I'm like, or. Or you have a family and keep the party going. Or you keep the party going, and then you end up with some party animals. Yeah, exactly. Then you give birth to some true party animals. That's life at the party. That's exactly. 
You yeah, end was, up, yeah, was, they end up on K and A. That was pretty telling, quick. Oh, dude, for Those sure. Those are party animals, big time. <laughs> oh shit, animal. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's animal for the yeah. Muppets, dude. Yeah, you've been dude. watching the Muppets. Yeah, Muppet Babies. Yeah, watch Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies sucks. Fucking, what? Muppets rules, dude. Muppet dude, Babies. Muppet Babies. I remember being a kid and being like, dude, <laughs> get rid of this childish shit. I need the real shit. I need the Muppets, dude. Not Muppet I'm babies. not a fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why dude, are we watching baby Muppet Babies shit? fucking rules, dude. It'd be funny to be a cynical kid. <laughs> Miss Nanny? To be like, what the fuck is this? Dude. Turn this off. You say that, dude. Fozzie's Paw Patrol. Fozzie's funny joke show. It's Every time I watch him, try to do his funny joke show, and everyone fucking interrupts him. I'm like, dude, I know, dude. Oh, I get it. I know, dude. He works so hard on his funny joke show. I tried to do a funny joke show <laughs> podcast the other day with a bunch of comedians on Bert's bus. Really? That was funny joke show. What happened? Couldn't get a goddamn word in, dude. Oh, really? Everybody's a funny guy. You gotta take. You gotta. You gotta step off to yourself, and Miss Nanny I will left. come and be like, "What's the I matter?" Left. You're like, Miss Nanny, I worked really hard on my funny joke show. I did. I left. I left the mic. I did you really? Stood up. Yeah, like, I started done. chirping off mic. Really? So you guys stink. This podcast sucks. <laughs> they jumped all down your ass. <laughs> they were in my fucking ass. No, I was being a grump, dude. Really? Uh, the last. It was the last show of the tour, so it was two nights ago. Mm. And it got canceled due to a thunderstorm in Mississippi. What? Yeah. And it looked like it was going to be the best one. It looked really cool. It's like this amphitheater. Damn, that sucks. In Mississippi. No, I guess you can't have a rain delay. Yeah. Well, we tried to do a rain delay, which really sucks because people just waited in their cars for like two yeah, hours. That sucks. Yeah. Was it a full refund? Partial? Uh, I think I don't know. I don't want to speak on that. True, true. It ain't my money. It ain't my You shouldn't be talking about it. I shouldn't I should, be thinking, look, I shouldn't I'm be thinking about it. I'm trying to speak on other people's business, man. True, true. You ain't sold out a show unless you sold out of me. It's to see it. Yeah, especially a drive it. Like, is that a drive it setup or is it like outdoor theater? It's it just an amphitheater. Yeah, it was an outdoor like a concert. Jesus Christ! It was fucking nuts, dude. Doing baseball fields and shit. It's insane. And then we would go hit hit balls afterwards on the field. That's sick as fuck, dude. First swing I, saw I you took. Smoke one. I dude. smoked. I, by the end of the tour, I got my swing back. But You're a slugger. Good God, the first swing I took was insane. Really? When was the last time you've tried to hit a baseball? I don't think I've years? ever been successful. Yeah, it's it's wild. Yeah, it's hard as fuck. It's really embarrassing. Were, were, were they throwing you a meatball down the middle? Or were they? Yeah, fucking... but still, the first swing I took, first swing I took was on a tee in a batting cage. Yeah, missed, that's... hurt my back. <laughs> I was like, dude, you don't know how to swing. I I fucking hurt my ankle walking laundry up the I steps mean, the other day, dude. I try to clinch it. I try to get my hawk. Did you ever use your hawk claw? Like to grab something with your foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I engage my. It's been dad. a long time since I've attempted that. But actually, what am I talking about? I do it right there where you're sitting. I'll be fucking. I'll be gaming and be like, I need this. <laughs> Dude, I fucking. I seized an ankle sock with my talons the other day. Oh, you day. like that movement? <laughs> Hold on, let me show you this cut again, dude. Let me see that cut. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, dude! The crack of the bat. Dude. Sound like a car accident. <laughs> Somebody. Jesus, dude. Oh, that's a crack of the bat, dude. It's not a big deal. That's a big fucking deal. It's not a big deal. A lot of guys, a lot of guys don't have a cut like that. You hit it right on the meat of the bat. It's Hambino time, dude. Dude, I was walking laundry up my steps. I tried to pick up a sock, an ankle sock with yes. my talons, secure my talons. I have because I fell out of a basket. I'm like, I'm not putting the basket yes. down. I'm going to secure this. So I try to walk up the steps with one eagle oh, foot. Wow. Dude, I took one step on my eagle foot. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hurt like fuck. tweaked the fuck out. My ankle still <laughs> yeah, hurts. Definitely. I tweaked my ankle. Yeah, you can't walk like <laughs> that. I didn't know that. You can't. You can't take any missteps anymore. I should have. I didn't know that uh, eagle feet are meant to fly. I tried to walk on an eagle foot. <laughs> dude, I tried to walk. I was like, dude, I am easily the best ever. I have an ankle yeah. sock in my foot. Wait till I because I was gonna go to right it's downstairs. Undeniable. I was gonna go downstairs like Brittany. I just carried an ankle sock in my eagle town. That's crazy. Man, Most people have picked it up. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's exactly what I was nothing thinking. Nothing like sexual, dude. Nothing exactly sexually charges women like that. That no, was exactly what I was thinking. She'd be like, "Babe, I just carried something with my foot." She'd be like, oh "Holy God, shit! I that? married him. I married the guy." I, <laughs> How did I get I, so lucky? I was on the steps and went, "Ah, fuck! <laughs> yeah. Shut, motherfucker!" She's like, "What's the matter?" And I was like, "Nothing." And I just, I was like, "I don't want to talk about this right now." And if I, I can't. Six hours later, I was like, "You know, how I hurt my ankle." I was like, I thought I could carry an ankle sock in my foot the whole way up to the third floor steps. Did she respect the effort? She just went, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Good for went, her. Jesus. She was so horny at that point, dude. She was like, Jesus Christ. That's like hearing a dude was like in fire, under fire in the war. You're basically. Jesus Christ, dude. 
Yeah, it's like how so did you go through? Fucking that? hot. How'd you go through that? How'd you do that? How do you sleep at night? And I just kept it to myself. I kept my fucking low Trauma. level ankle pain to myself. Dude, there's a certain way if I move my ankle, I swear to God, it fucking hurts. I haven't. It's it's a certain step, but yeah, it's probably like an L four. Yeah, yeah, I'm L four. My L four. I was probably thinking L fours. So like you're a, cracking fucking hard balls. Yeah, it was it was fucking nice. Although yeah. I got my hand, I got all blistered up. You show those to Bay? Oh, I haven't seen her. When she gets home, I'll say this. <laughs> These are working hands, bitch. <laughs> uh, this and uh, it's just a little blister I got from hitting home runs. <sighs> I mean, Not dude, a big they, deal. that would have been probably 400 feet. Josh, the velocity on that ball. That could have went over the no, green. That was monster. just a line drive to second. But was it, don't get me monster. wrong, there were some cracks straight into the air. The green There's monster? Some, whoa. You think the green monster could have been I made? I could have scaled the green. <laughs> I <think> so <laughs> no, I kind of hit towards the right. Honestly. Do you really? Yeah. That's smart though. Lefty. You've trained your hit to go yeah. away from the green. Yeah, well, so just wants, in case, yeah. just in case I'm at Fenway. Yeah, you don't want to go. <laughs> just in case they call me up, and they're like, "We need you at Fenway." <laughs> Did dudes still get caught up from the minor leagues? Yeah, that's how they all get. Damn, that's dude. how they all get to the league. Really, the yeah. minors? Yeah. The we would just we went to the, one of the batting cages at one of the fields, and they were just throwing. 70 the thing was at like 70 80 miles an hour yikes it's so fucking fast it's terrible you can't and they're like that's 70 dude i can't even imagine standing there for a hundred no dude it's yeah you can't even see it you can't see i don't know whatever this isn't really exciting stuff this is, we're talking the mo- talking America's about a 70 time. mile an hour batting cage no, and it's ta- scary it's dude. scary as fuck you're talking yeah. 100 mile power balls not being able to see them yeah i wouldn't be able to see them that's fucking. That's America's favorite pastime, dude. We know there's what a we're reason doing. it's we're the keyed pastime. In. We're keyed in right yeah, now. There's a reason it's the pastime. I, that's not true anymore, right? America's pastime. I'm pretty sure it's the cell phone. It's the cell. Pretty phone. sure it's the internet. Now. That's the America's pastime baseball, is the cell phone. Yeah, I think the cell phone. I think baseball's done. It's still Although white guys' might, pastime. You might bring it back. Baseball. Yeah, cracking the bat like that. Me and Hispanics love baseball. For sure. Baseball. Baseball. I do like Hispanics, so that's good. Yeah, they're great. I love guys coming up from on behalf fucking, of all Hispanics. I'm gonna say fuck BET, dude. Yeah, sorry Hispanics, <laughs> you guys have been left in the dark for too long to BET. Fuck BET. Wow, we're really hitting the fucking rut. <laughs> what else is going on? <laughs> I got a ton of stuff to talk about, um, dude. Dude, a guy in Philadelphia just got his uh, skull fractured by a group of teenagers. Jumped him. What would you do, dude? Four thirteen-year-olds come up to try to fuck you up. First off, unlike these guys who are afraid to be racist, I'm on guard when I see those. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walk by like this. <laughs> I'm prepared. Dude. <laughs> You're fully locked in. I literally, yeah. You're, you're full, <laughs> keep my feet square and walk past them like that. What else could you do? Think I'm gonna get knocked out, dude? He got his skull fractured. They had to take. Didn't they take a piece of his skull out? It was around. Where the hell were you, dude? That was in your fucking neck of the woods. You and your buddy should get together. <laughs> you and your buddy should form a, I don't know, <laughs> mob. A neighborhood we'll a, watch. A, a cool group of guys. Uh, that's, not funny. That's, that's not funny. funny. That's, that's not funny. That's, that's not funny. funny. That's, that's not funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. You do need to form a vigilante squad. We yeah, no, are like-minded individuals. Absolutely. We're going to protect the streets. We're going to clean them up. <laughs> well, first of all, I will say it's kind of on, you know, this is this is victim blaming. But I'll be damned if a group of 13-year-olds can whoop my fucking ass. Four 13-year-olds. 16-year-olds, you know. If you're walking, dude. Depends on how hard I've been training. If you're walking down the street, you've been getting crushed with CNN and MSNBC. <sighs> you're like, I'm not going to even worry about That's this. That's what I'm happened to this. walk with my hands straight down and have a nice dirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Look at this. I'm doing well right now. I'm not uh, worried at dude. all. <laughs> Just got crushed. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you want to hear another old white guy complaint? What? When did shoplifting become totally okay? <laughs> when the fuck? Every time I go into, dude, I went to, I'm mad. I went into oh. Dwayne Reed today. Fucking pistachios are behind a locked case. Oh, dude. Everything's locked. It's annoying. You got to fucking hit a button and have some guy walk down and pistachios? be like, could I get a fungal cream? Yeah, the fungal cream. I can see keeping You got to lock that up, dude. Yeah, that's some, that's life-saving technology. Pistachios is like, bro. Whatever you're getting, you gotta Let fucking go. ring a buzzer and have somebody who doesn't want to be there slowly get to you. It takes like ten minutes for to get deodorant. Yeah, well, the fucking Dems won't release information on how much shoplifting is going. They won't release information. <laughs> I I think someone complained about that. I, that was a like a breeze of Fox knew that enter, entered my ear. I walked yeah. to my parents' house. It was like they were they were they were demanding the numbers from like CVS or one of these pharmacies that had been like 
super whatever politically on whatever like the left side of like we support blah 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 and they're like give us your numbers on loss prevention how much have you guys lost to shoplifting and they're like that's none of your fucking business yeah. bro that's none of your fucking like, business. don't worry about it we it's don't like, care. Well, why we what are we doing care, what are we doing yeah that's a fun that's a funny complaint dude you should take that to the streets into cvs but you guys even give a fuck anymore i don't understand what's happening i know what's happening everyone's fucking terrified of becoming perceived as racist yeah but isn't it even more racist to just lock every? I'd like. Yeah. However, shouldn't you arrest people? That's that what steal you do. You, you go out on a commercial and you say, "Here at fucking Walgreens, we support blah 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 blah," and then you yeah. just fucking lock everything. And then you say, "Yeah, you guys aren't getting our shit." Yeah, you just fucking lock it. Good everything. luck trying to steal our shit. That's the game. Good luck, you fucking idiots. Yeah. Take what a time, fun. dude. What a sad time. Also, isn't the yeah. housing market and everything about to crash? Like coming up uh they say they say that they all the time say, it'll dip what i've heard is the population dip is going to really dip the housing market but not for like 40 50 years oh well i don't so, give a fuck so about the baby that. boomers are going to drop off and then there's going to be so many houses available for sale well that'll be cool yeah that'll be and fun dude, let's let's say something too if these were uh, roving groups of young white kids i'd feel just the same i'd beat their fucking ass dude. oh sure but I'd beat their ass harder there might be a little publicity about it what there's groups of white Roving kids. Roving gangs of white kids just socking elderly black people. Oh, for I sure. I bet you that might make the news. <laughs> I think so. Wouldn't it? I tend to think so. Wouldn't it make the news? I tend to think so. Why are we locking shit up at CVS? <laughs> fuck BT. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? Oh, my God. Yeah. I've had it up to here. I'm fed up. I'm fucking completely I just spent fed. two weeks in the South. I'm back. <laughs> I'm bringing my country sensibilities back to the city. You're fighting for the soul of your country. Yes, you're fighting for the soul of your country, dude. Come on, man. What the hell are we doing? You yeah, know what? I, you know what is funny? What? The South is so. Mu- I've said it before, but the South is so much more. Uh, uh, what's the word here? Not. It's just less segregated. Yeah. Like the North is way more segregated. Like South seems everybody's. Really? Yeah. Chicago seg- might be the most segregated city in the yeah. world. So the, the South is, is less segregated. Yeah. To, I could be wrong, but that's what I've noticed. Seems like everybody gets along a little more and is talking to each other a little more. Yeah. Up North, you don't you don't say a word. Interesting. It's well, weird. down South, I've noticed the black dudes down South dress like, we talked about this before. They ha- They wear like farmer clothes. A lot of the sometimes, old black dudes down south were sometimes farther. they just dress like a fucking Newport and, <laughs> <laughs> and their car is covered in a Newport wrap. <laughs> sometimes with like 48 inch rims. Those are the best dudes on earth. True. Wearing, True. Literally dressed like a full SpongeBob fucking sweatsuit. <laughs> you were saying with all their racing sponsors? Well, yeah. I don't know what exactly what I was going for. <laughs> dressed like a Newport. <laughs> you ever see the Newports? <laughs> they look sick, dude. They do. They do. White guys need to start doing that with skull. Why Just get would a skull it, wrap on your fucking crown, Vic. Why wouldn't we? Yeah. It's fucked up. It's time don't. for us to take it back. It's time for white dudes to take it up to the next level. We're on some <laughs> bullshit, dude, for our NFTs and nonsense. We do need to stop worrying about NFTs. Yeah, and dude, we, we all need to st- Somebody needs to start guarding Dwayne Reed's. No, we got white dudes got to focus on their drip. And we got to come up with our own form of drip, dude. We might need uh, it for us we're by pretty us. dripped up, dude. No, we, we need, need a, the whole squad right now. True. Everyone in here is rocking gym shorts. I got my blue khakis you on. You got blue khakis. That's very nice. Blue dude, and gray. Like that's, a nice, this is a yeah. fucking crazy color coordination, dude. Yeah. Everybody's wearing buck hunters and bass shit. It's pretty fucked up. I'm on think my about baseball it. jersey drip still, dude. That's pretty nasty. It is the summer of baseball jerseys for me. It's all baseball, dude. Nasty as hell. Dude, I read a, uh, I read a story you're, you're going to like a lot. It's about... A psychic spy for, for he worked for what's the what's the intelligence agency for the INSCOM INSCOM MS get the fuck it no it's not you know any agency any of the letter alphabet you don't agencies? know any of the alphabet INSCOM letter. what the fuck Sorry. do you know about INSCOM Sean nothing but I'd like to learn thank you so when did I you was trying to, when? I was trying to think like what the fuck does it stand for what does it stand for what does it stand for why is it, what's your problem <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> no problem you've been a big shot I haven't seen you very much I know, I miss you, man. So you've been big shotting around, I see. <laughs> Absolutely not. Sean's, no, been flashing no, the, no, Sean's no. been flashing the plugs money, dude. Really? <laughs> flashing the plugs money, dude. What's he been up to? He's flashing the plugs money. That's all. 
I'm laying the low. The plug leaves town to go re up, dude. You go with the plug money. You got, you got like four G's <laughs> on. You go flash the plug's money. Like, yeah. Plug comes back. Where the fuck's my money? Where's at? my You're money, like, dude? Oh, man, fuck, come on, man. I delivered. When I You've got been here. fucking around. You've been flashing the plug's money, bro. <laughs> how's it been? How's stand up been going? You've been killing it? It's been okay. Yeah, you've been killing it. Don't be fucking humble. Not really, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me about, <laughs> tell me about Inscom. <laughs> so the dude's name is, I think it's Joseph McMonagle. Joseph McMonagle. Yeah, Joseph McMonagle. He uh, he had the worst fucking life. His childhood, he grew up in the projects of Miami. Trick daddy, mom and dad. Oh, nice. Vanilla Ice. He grew up in the projects of Miami in like the 50s, dude. Ooh. And it, it fucking stunk, dude. He was... Just had a sad life. His dad was an absolute alcoholic. His mom was like a smart lady who just fucked up and married this dude and then just gave up and started drinking. And pretty sick. But he was to the he was so tortured as a young child that he would hallucinate a young rabbit coming into his bed to comfort him at night. So he would like lay his sister, like they would talk, like she heard voices, and he was like, Nah, all I have is like sometimes a little bunny creeps into my bed and just like comforts me. Because he was just, it was his neighborhood was so fucked up. He had like gang members. He was just like, so it was like gangs. bring a bunny into the it, bed. It was gangs in New York. When I'm fumbling for my toys. <laughs> 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 he grew up in like full gangs of New York. Yeah. Like a dude, I think like grabbed his, one of his sister's ass. So he like went and smacked him in the face with a baseball bat. It, dude was fucking nuts. Oh, I think the, the thing that stopped him was a storm door, but like it, it was really funny. But long story short, traumatic childhood, terrible childhood. He's like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Gets on a fucking bus because he's like, he's like, I physically can't get out of Florida because it was like the 60s. He's like, I can't. If I try to leave, I'll just get too hungry. because It's going to take me two days to get out if I try to hit yeah. So he joins the military, gets in a bus, get, gets out of there. And then he's like, he's a pretty smart dude. So he's, he gets, goes through boot camp. His test is really, his tests are really high. So eventually intelligence, the INSCOM is like, dude, we need this guy. He's pretty fucking smart. Yeah. So INSCOM they draft him, but he starts doing Morse code where he's doing like Morse code, code cracking. But you have to sit there and be able to, you have to memorize Morse code in like all in different languages. And he was like, it's too fucking hard. So he was, he was ready to give up. So he just goes out one night and gets hammered. And he's a young man at this point. He's like, yeah. I'm going to show up hammered. Oh, I know who comes. They're going to know. They're yeah. going to discover him. They're like, I'm going to get discovered. They'll send me to Vietnam. Fuck this. I don't care. He gets hammered. And all of a sudden, dude, it's limitless. It's fully limitless. He's like, he just relaxed. And he was like, oh shit, this is kind of easy. So he figured out the secret. So he you just, know what's interesting about that? What? Getting drunk and I could speak Spanish when I would get drunk. When really? I was in Spain. Because there's no hesitation. You're not like thinking or worried about like, do I sound dumb? This is complicated. That's what happened. He was. Yeah, you he, get a little hammered. You're like, oh, I fucking know. Beep, 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 dude, that's what happened. Suck my dick. Beep, beep. Dude, he was. He said there was like translating like 15 words per minute. He got up to like 60. He got Good hammered. for him though also to just be like. This test is too hard. I'm, fuck it. Send me to Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> and he literally figured out how to do that. So he was like, he's like, I was hammered and I like relaxed. And I was like, oh, actually, if I'm, if I stop like putting up such a fight, I can let the world, I'll just like just translate and not worry about if it's right or not. And he's like, dude, I got up to like, I was flying. Wow. So he became top of his class, got hammered, cracked the yes. code, top of his class, so became a mill like an intelligence officer. Um, long story, there's a ton of that that goes into it, but he eventually got tapped by people who were looking into remote viewing and like psychic spying. And he was like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm all in. Yeah. So he was like, like top, it's called like a um, chief warrant officer. So I don't know what it is. It was, he was like an officer, a decorated guy. He had, he had served in Vietnam, all that stuff. So he was like doing computer systems. They had like spent a ton of money educating this guy on how to like install like high level, high tech security systems. And these guys were like, do you want to learn how to be psychic? And he was like, yes. So yeah. he, was, as a high officer, you just who, read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He needed to be somewhere. Like they had like a very like essential role. He had yeah. to go to his officer and be like, "Yo, I'm on a top secret mission. You can't know about." And the guy knew it was like psychic shit. And he's like, "Bro, don't fucking please, yeah, don't fucking do it." And he's like, "It's for the great. This for the good of this country. Yeah. Like if if the Russians are remote viewing, we're fucked. I need to do it." And they're like, "Dude, you're really fucking me by doing this." He's like, "I'm sorry. I'm doing what my country needs me to do." So he goes, becomes a remote viewer. And, you know, long story short, he he's apparently he said he was really good at it, but he became yeah. fat as hell, dude. What? He fat as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he did this. And there was, I'm leaving out so much shit. No, that's great. But there was like the, the, the one part before that he got divorced. It, he, it was, he brought his wife to Germany, he brought like a 19 year old wife to Germany. And she, and she didn't speak the language. So she couldn't talk to anyone for like three years. Yeah. So he just had his wife sit in a house like, <laughs> and then, you know, she went back to Miami. She went back and sucked and fucked. She cheated on the back of Miami. Of course she did. 
But he was so fucking devastated that he a hose and tricks, dude. Dude, on a military base, what he did, he was so de- he turned back to the bottle, started getting drunk all the time. Yeah, and then he started partying with girls. So he would go out to all the military women. So he's like, got fat as hell, drunk, and start partying dude, with girls. He would go, "I'm having a banger, dude, at my house. All the other dudes are gonna be there." He'd he'd invite nine chicks, and no dudes came. And it was just him and nine chicks. <laughs> and he, That's and he fucking crazy. Him, he would tell him like, "I'm not trying to fuck you guys. I'm deeply depressed. Can we just get drunk and play board games at my house?" <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. And he would just party. But then he got That's the rep- nice. He, dude, he was the he's this guy who fucking rules. I would love to get drunk and play board games with girls. But the lady dude and like guys i promise i'm not it's trying, like to, I'm fuck not trying to fuck you guys my dick so doesn't impressive. even work i'm it's sad just, dude who cares dude let's just play they dude, would blast please. music and just dominate them and scrabble <laughs> like that's not even a word you stupid bitch get out he would blast music party and then he was like it's like he's like yeah dude like i was waking up with strangers all around he was full fan wilder mode dude. this guy's autobiography is so funny because he falls in all the trappings of like the way he mythologic like it's very mythical the way he projects himself. his journey I had to go dark. The military, I was a non-person. I was a non-entity. The military went fully dark ops, dude. It's so yeah. funny. But he got, so he's, you know, that goes on. He's on a second He liked marriage. it crowded inside. The, oh, dude. He, yeah, he liked it crowded. Very, dude. There's so many things. You just get drunk, <laughs> invite the things, things over, dude. make sure it was crowded, and then break out the part. Nine Break things. out the part cheesy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, you know, years flash by as in a second marriage. He's a remote viewer, but he's stressed as fucking hell because he was playing racquetball to stay healthy. Nice. Dude, he was playing racquetball. <laughs> he's playing racquetball to stay healthy as a, as a psychic for the dude. They're constantly trying to shut this operation down, yeah. but he's like, they, they wouldn't let him do it. So they're playing, he's playing racquetball to stay fit because the job's stressful as hell because all the alphabet agencies are asking for intelligence. So him and his boys are playing combat racquetball where it's, it's like as soon as the person hits the ball, it becomes it's three people, becomes two on one. So like he hits the ball and the other two are trying to score on you and then it just keeps going back and forth. But then you you were allowed to check people into the boards. These were Ooh. like 35-year-old dudes playing yeah. racquetball, checking each other, basically playing what's the game in ba- like 21 in basketball or yeah. like roughhouse. Playing racquetball, but he was like, dude, I had a blazing bl- backhand. He's like it was he's like it was a he said it, it, a direct quote from the book. He's like my backhand was a metallic blur of blue steel. Of just fucking, <laughs> just this guy sucks. so fast. No, dude, but, but Monaco <laughs> fucking rules. So the reason he got fat, he was playing combat racquetball, and he, he went to up. hit a backhand. He hit a dude right in the eye. The guy's eye bled. And he goes, "I thought I killed him." Turns out he was just fine. But he's like, if he had, if I had been, my wrist had rotated two degrees, he would have had like surgery on his face. Oh, dude, my yeah. backhand was his so backhand fast. was too fast. Turned out it was just a bad cut. But he's like, dude, I'm pretty Still. sure. I thought he died. Bad cut's pretty good, though. Still. Bad cut. So he goes, you know what? No more exercise for me. Gets fat as fuck to the point where he needs like a cane to walk around and be like physically <laughs> helped out of his car. Well, if you're going to be a psychic, it's nice to be like physically. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So the military, because they've been his original MOS, you know what MOS is. Original yeah, MOS tr- is trying to get this guy kicked out of the military. It's so like, fuck it. He's a, me- a medical leave. We're kicking him out because he's, he's unable to do his duties as a soldier. He's too fat. Yeah. So his doctor goes, dude, you're fucking out, and meaning like his pension was fucked, according to him. He was saying like, they put you on medical discharge, and then if they cure your thing you had, then you get less money. If you know, if if like, oh, you can't cure fat, dude. Dude, that guy well, they, just hangs in there. They're talking about his pain, so they're gonna okay. just pump because he had he was fat and then he had slip disc from obviously a helicopter crash and damn, dude, whatever. That's a that's a, he doesn't even can't even talk about that. He leaves that out, but just let yeah. you know, helicopter crash and uh, <laughs> fucked up his discs. Fucking Halo went down. It went down. What is, he doesn't, dude. He doesn't even want to talk. That's a whole other book. But, dude, so he gets, he's fat as fuck. The doctors, the, whole, the military is like, they have him just where they want him. They're like, this guy's fucked. We're discharging him. We're not paying him. Fuck this guy for abandoning his MOS after we trained him in computers. It's like hundreds, probably $200,000 yeah. training. So he goes, bro, he goes in the code. He goes, you guys got to give me a fucking fair shake. If I can pass the military physical examination, <laughs> like you guys gotta fuck off and drop all this bullshit <laughs> so they're like yeah whatever dude you yeah, walk with a cane dude he took a day of absence went to a private pain management doctor and just got perked up dude <laughs> as perked as possible and then used the meditative techniques from the sri institute and like you know operation sun streak just classified well i think that's actually unclassified now he took his meditative techniques from the remote viewing shit yeah 
and just fucking ran two miles, did obstacle courses, and did push ups. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking passed. He passed, dude, for all the bros. That's incredible. He passed, and he said he fully he just. Been so tired. Dude, what ha- so he collapsed. He, he, he got he passed the, the two miles. He collapsed onto the ground and his back is just scorching agony. His leg kept acting like it was running. So one of his friends came and sat on his leg to keep it from moving. He was fully fucked up, dude. This is wild. He had to take four days off. He like he he had to go get treated and get like his body. He was fucked up. He said his eyes were rolling in the back this of his head. Like, keep a pension. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he, fucking, yeah. he fucking ran the second mile and just collapsed fat as fuck yeah. all perked up and his, he had dog legs still yeah. his one leg was still moving yeah. like a dead bug and his friend held his leg down and then that and then he was able to like continue on his business nice. dude, it's so nice and then he divorced <laughs> and then he shortly after divorced his second wife dude what and his son was like yo dad can i live with you and he's like things are too treacherous right now dude no so he also had a son that was kind of in the wind he popped up on his son, saw that his stepfather in him had a loving relationship, and he was like, I don't want to complicate things. Let me get back to remote viewing. And it was just like, damn, these Russian submarines are fucking huge, dude. You guys know about these things? Dude, you were saying he he claims to have seen the, I don't know what they're called, but they're Russian submarines that are like a football field long. Yeah. With like nuclear warheads. He was like, dude, I saw these big tubes of metal, and I get, they were like, damn, this is a fucking, this is some sort of like marine like russian navy thing sure and they were like shut up and they he, they would give he would give reports and they'd be like shut up dude fuck yeah obviously shut up get the Some fuck out of dumb here fat guy with a cane walks in <laughs> and was like i i can see the russian submarines and be like why how is this guy here dude it was a whole branch of the military there was a whole no branch. i know i know they, they tried oh yeah they yeah. had they went for it and then they said in 1995 the cia dug up all the reports yeah and they're still i guess they like were the men in, who stare at goats type shit yeah that was all from oh god what's name? there was a general who took it too far so this guy claims remote viewings legit it's but then not. guys got too they got too far <laughs> but out it's not though this guy claims to have done live demonstrations for i forget how many people where he found he helped garner information to find missing children and he, he said he found like it was in japan he said he found 50 Holy of the shit he, that must have blown their minds bro oh crazy but he says he goes at best he is 60 to 70 percent he can get good information on stuff but the military was saying it's more of like using those things to help people problem solve in an out-of-the-box way so they were like, you know, can we just conjure up stuff about like, what's this? Where's this? But he, they said they had files where it'd be like, they'd put a manila envelope with a picture of a building the guy's never seen. And that was blind to the, like the person doing the thing. Yeah. And they'd have to sit and sketch things. And afterwards they'd both open it and be like, what the fuck? But, you know, obviously, you know, you could be like squares. I see a square. And yeah. It's like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was, it was, but the military, it was, it was so funny because people would be like, dude, please <laughs> officers. <laughs> his officers would be like dude please we beg you to come back and run our computers for us and stop fucking being a psychic and he'd be yeah. like my country needs me brother they're like dude I, I would keep the psychic job i'd be like this shit's sick dude all was, i have to do is lie to people constantly it was kind of goat dude it was kind of goat dude he would sit there all day but he said they got slammed he said they were getting crushed with import reports like they were like the fbi wanted to actually like yeah. everyone is like what's up we need this we need this he claims to have things saying that they gave he gave credible information like the fbi cia and all that Try one, they're good it's good nicotine so he claim he claims a lot of the reports got burnt and shredded yeah he put in a retirement as a psychic he put in his retirement is two weeks in and his general shredded it so he went to check he's like yo what's up with my retirement notice and they're like Oh, yeah, they, they said that you said you didn't want to retire anymore. And he's like, what the fuck? He's like, the guy's like, I shredded it. He's like, I did not tell you to shred it. He's like, oh, the general said we could change your mind. Whoa. So he claims that Gen- I think it was General Stubbin- Stubblebime. That was the that gen- motherfucker. That was the head general being like, hold on. That was the guy who was doing the bending spoon parties and took it to like the really weird paranormal okay. stuff. But he was saying, you close your eyes, and you learn how to remote view. And he was like, uh, who's, he, who's the name of the... There was a top guy at the Stanford Research Institute, Ego Swami or something. He, that was a guy who claimed he could train anyone without psychic capability to learn how to remote view by double blind procedures. Mm. Pretty tight. But I haven't finished the book yet. Yeah. So there was that guy talking about being so fat and getting perked up. And, and that's 
Sorry, I could. That was that that's made me, really that fun. pumped me up so hard. It should pump you up. That's, that's as right. fun as it gets. Lying to women, and saying there's a party, and just having them play board games with you. Yeah, because you're sad. It really is a fucking cool move. It's tight. This guy was a genius, obviously. He was. You dude. have to be a fucking complete psycho to do that. <laughs> you have to be a fucking psycho. He was just blasting, probably like Def Leppard. But it worked. For right? sure. Would like all it takes is three to stay. Now oh, you yeah. got a board game going. Party, dude. Now you got all sides of this board. Party, dude. These are military. These are lonely ladies too, dude. Oh, military wives. These are military. These are military women, like enlisted yeah. military women. Oh, so just lesbians. They're pumped yeah. on boards games for sure. Shoots and ladders. Let's go. Playing family. Playing life. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I got one last night that was funny. What you I, I just had a. I just bought a dumb book. What'd I you finished get? my Lafayette book. I I didn't know what it was. I, did, I started I, reading that. That I was pretty, who that's Douglas good. Murray was. The gay guy. No, Douglas Murray, the guy who was like, Jews are the smartest. He did like the IQ race thing. Oh. I forgot about it. I used a credit on my amateur. Uh, wasn't Douglas Murray the gay guy? Wasn't who, Douglas Murray the guy who. No. Uh, Douglas Murray is the gay guy who go the gay conservative dude who's like. Oh, well, then. Actually. Oh, but well, no, then, yes, there's that's another who guy. I'm thinking of. Who's the guy who does uh, the Maybe Charles. IQ? Charles Murray. Yeah, I got that's Douglas it. Murray's book. So I didn't got the wrong guy, but this guy, this book's called The War on the West. You thought you were going to learn about some I IQ. thought I was learning about the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> I was like half asleep last night. <laughs> Finished off it. I just bought it. It starts out, it's like, why the fuck's everyone mad about the West, dude? No one cares about China. That's kind of racist. <laughs> like, it's just, it's literally just that. Douglas so Murray. So I went to sleep, listened to Douglas Murray, woke up, went to Dwayne Reed. I was like, they got to stop stealing pistachios. <laughs> Now I'm finding out about a gang of kids knocking out an old white guy. I don't think he was old. How old was he? He was like, he was like 30. He had a little baby, a little baby and wife. He had a baby, he and, wife. Been, he had a baby he and wife. He, he, wife. he was walking him. to a concert. He was walking from Old Fairmount to, to <sighs> Union well, Transfer. That's what happens. You go, it's, you think it's know. party time. You think it's time to listen to music and have fun outside. Next thing you know, you got your brain knocked off. So is that guy dead? No, he's in very critical condition. He currently. lives. He lives. He has very. He, they said that he's gonna have like lifelong, like uh, like brain problems and stuff. Fuck, now. that sucks, dude. Whoa, that's the worst thing ever. That sucks, yeah. dude. Think how fucking angry you'd be if dude. you found out, like, just your old man. If, if Phil was just walking down the street and got fucking knockout gamed, it'd be so sad. It's so sad to watch old people fall when they get knockout gamed. Yeah, but if, that would be. T- that's terrible. It's but the if, worst thing in the world. He could have kept his. Go- all all, worst, all but... he had to do was they came up and be like, "You good?" If he hit him with a "You good," they would be like, "Oh shit." Yeah. You good? You got to hit that from like five feet away. You good? Just for the listener, don't try that at home. <laughs> you good? Don't give that a shot. Or not right now. Say, hold on. Not right now. I'm busy. Not right now, dudes. Yo, you good? I'm busy. So you got to do. You got to fucking. Yo, dude. You guys fucking good? You guys want to piece So you're of me? saying if you're. All right. Let's say you're the you're average. You're mad dog, dude. You're the average listener of this podcast. You're yeah. a 30 something lonely white guy. Yes. You're walking down the street. You see a gang of teens. Whatever color I don't mean doesn't to matter. say gang. But whatever, a group of no, teens. whatever color doesn't matter. Could be white kids. Could be white kids. Could be in Kensington Avenue. A group dude. of white teens. Could be on K and A. They're chirping. Chirping. And you're walking you. up. They're laughing. They're pushing each other. One of them goes, taps his. But you see him tap his buddy and he goes, "Hey, watch this." Yep. That's when you're saying you need to go. Are we good here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to roll the <clears throat> dice and say you need to get ahead of the knockout game. You gotta go mad dog. Full mad dog. Yeah. You go. Are we good? Dude, I've simulated. I'm like, dude, if a group of teenagers, four 13 year olds attacked me, I know for, I'm not bragging, dude. I'm not bragging. I know I would not be in the ICU. I'm not bragging. 13 year olds. That's dude. a strong statement, dude. 13 year olds. You're saying they throw the first sucker punch? There, there would be no sucker punch, bro. I got fucking, I got spider eyes, dude. All right. I'm 360, I'm 360 that. degrees. That's what I'm saying. That's the first mistake. I've tried to sneak up on you. You're pretty good. I got spider eyes, bro. Yeah. So it's like, that's the first mistake, man. The sucker punch is the first mistake. Now they're in your web. Exactly. That's what now I'm you're saying. Fucking, <laughs> that's what I'm I've saying. been waiting for you little flies. <laughs> I mean, dude, you could, I get, anyone could get snucked on, but dude, it's like, you can't, you can't allow yourself to get snucked up like God. that. I mean, everyone is headphoned to the gills right now. Everyone's in a music I'd video right now. I get fucking laid out, dude. You think so? Yeah. Nah, they're not going to get you. Yeah. Tell me, they're not going to, they're, you're not on the chopping block, dude. That'd be sick to survive it, though. Just take one and be like, why would you hit me? And just attack them. Attack them. Have the teens scatter and just. I saw I saw a group of teens yesterday. I was cutting through. I forget where I was. <laughs> but there was a group. Literally, there was a group of four teens. And there was an old guy came out like 
visibly fucked up dude and one of them just launched a basketball at the back of his head just went bop it was like they were little kids they were probably yeah. like 10 years 11 years that's old that's fun though kid just the guy just stops and goes turns around they just all left they ran away and then he just carried he just like started talking to a guy like nothing ever happened just got bopped in the back of the head that's pretty funny it was pretty funny <laughs> that's really like, funny that, see that's, that's fun also though you have to admit that, like, so if you grew up in the hood and you like lived on a college campus and you just saw like like you know like the level of like I'm not, i don't want to be addicted to the guy who got hit in the head maybe he wasn't a gigantic white pussy but there are gigantic white pussies that looked like they've been oh, like was this around temple's campus yeah i think so right it was, it was a ways. like again was i'm not putting smut on that man i feel bad i think he's a product of his environment that man who got punched in the head maybe of a white pussy environment but there are a lot of dudes who look like they've been like like kept in libraries for like yeah 30 years and they just come out all gangly and it's like bro you can't be on the mean streets dude yeah don't go to temple shit's not fucking sweet dude yeah so if you you grew up in the hood you see like a impossibly pussied out white dude and you're a 11 12 year old black kid in this instance obviously it could have been white teens obviously i got a feeling that dude would you not you're putting yourself in this like you, the whole life experience and you just see this dude like you might crack him in the head I might if I was a eleven year old black. You know dude, how you sound right now? How? Like a fucking dem, dude. I'm not a dem. I'm not a dem. Hey, Matt. I'm not a dem. Let me stop you right here, now. This is what I'm saying. No, hold on. I'm trying to stop you before you keep crawling down this dem hole. I'll tell you, I'm not a dem hole. Maybe we should lock everything up in there. You know, maybe it's not our fault. No, no, no. no. This is what I'm saying. I'm, dude. I'm not being I'm a dem. Back. I'm not being a dem. I'm back. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not being a dem. You know why? Because I'm talking, I'm talking from a big, which Dems like to talk macro perspectives, <laughs> but I'm going to take it to the other side of the aisle where it's like that dude needs to be fully aware. And if a group of teenagers swing on you, it's death before dishonor. True. And then you turn around. So I'm just saying, I get where that kid's coming from. I'm using my, I mean, I might've trained at SRI. I can get into that dude's headspace and be like, dude, I understand where you're coming from, young brother. But if you swing on me and attack me, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to eviscerate a 12 year old. Look. We need to start sending some plain clothes, white MMA dudes. Just have them patrol. Just say, hey, <laughs> walk down the street. Yeah, true. We need to start setting landmines for these knockout games. <laughs> just one day. Just get a couple. All it's going to take is two true. or three instances yeah. where the knockout game goes terribly wrong. Yeah. It ha I mean, you never hear about it going to like, terribly wrong. No, it's impossible to go wrong. You're sucker punching someone on a sidewalk. Yeah, but dude, a 12 year I watched a dude man. beat the fuck out of three white ladies the other day. Really? Just out of nowhere, just oh, walking the down the street. I thought yeah. you said in real life. I was about to stand up and say, oh, what the fuck? I applauded, dude. I hate them. <laughs> what are you guys watching? Oh, there's footage of it? Yeah, there's footage of the guy. Let me see the man. He got, yeah, he got bonked, he got bonked Let me see the man. Again, he I don't want to speak ill on this man. I'm not, you know, I feel bad. He's like a geese. Damn, this guy got fucked up. Let this guy's like 45 years old. Let me see him. Yeah, he's kind of a geese. Damn. This guy got <laughs> destroyed, man. Jesus. Oh, my God. There he was. Bopping around. Why did they blur him out? I guess I'd blur, yeah, blur me out, you know too. It was nice. They do. They Imagine do. me having to eat my words on this. I get put into a coma by a bunch of 12-year-olds. <laughs> like, I'll fuck them up. That sucks. Why is everything blurred? I can't. That's crap. That's bullshit, dude. And you know what's funny? It feels racist to even talk about it. What? To be like, that's bad. It's terrible. <laughs> it feels, it's like, maybe I shouldn't say this. I'm telling you. Maybe we should shut up about the fact that <laughs> people are just getting fucked up. The car, I mean, the car was, what a pointless car steal, too. That was an absolute joyride. I mean, pretty fun. I drove the car my, part would be fun. I drove my uncle's car. Dude, I drove my uncle's car when I was 14. It was sick. Yeah. Did you ever drive before you had your yes. license? Dude, that was to drive crazy, my buddy's dude. Shitler van. Did you really? My, my buddy's mom's cleaning van. Did you really? Yeah, we'd drive it around. One day we drove it over a hit. We'd just take it off road. <laughs> just drove through a field and hit a bump. And literally parts fell out of the undercarriage. Yeah. But yeah, man. I mean, dude, that would be. It would be fun, dude. You and all your bros. Yeah. You see a dude. You're like, dude, I'm going to crack this dude. How about we pants? Yeah, but dude. You a could, pants. You know, the guy's True. got a wife and kid. You're going to murder him? For the, murder him. the kid's got a fucking... The kid's got a swing. 
The kid's that got guy's a fun- got blue steel. The kid's got, <laughs> that got a blue flash, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's probably never played again. He probably is fat now. The kid's probably fat as hell. He's yeah. like, oh, I didn't know I could do all that. Yeah. I was just playing combat fucking knockout game with my buddies. It's good they have surveillance everywhere, though, in these cities. Yeah. Just surveillance cameras everywhere. Yeah. So what? So we can monitor America? the fucking ass whoopings, or are we going to... Well, America has more... Uh, the shoot, like, come on, guys. We got to stop the violence and vote. Yeah. Stop the violence and vote. Well, that always made... I was, dude... Don't get me started on my thing, but you want to talk about old white guy takes. First of all, we have more surveillance. There's a lot of old white guy takes we I'm got, bringing today. We got we got more surveillance in China, bro, in in America, but it's just through, through private phones, entities, ring phones, all that. No ring doorbells, all that shit. Yeah, we have more. We have more cameras, I should say. They say, in China. Hmm. but the um, you know, the level and depth of the surveillance. Who knows? But yeah, dude, when I hear on the radio and there was the South Street shooting, and then it goes. Come on, man. We got to do better. We got to do better. And then it's like, you know, same thing. And then it's just, bam, here comes the next song. And it's just literally about shooting dudes. Yeah. It's just like, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's an old, you know, I know I'm grumpy. I'm a little grumpy, hey. but it's like, dude, clearly, clearly that's crazy. Stop and it's just violence. instantly held at the highest esteem of like, yeah. fuck yeah, that shit rules. And it's like, who the song about the murderer? Yeah. The vicious murderer. Yeah. It's like maybe that's uh I don't know. Maybe you should cut it out. Maybe you should be murdering. Or at least be or at least being if you're not <laughs> engaging in murder actively, which most people don't, obviously. Obviously. Being like, yo, but that rules. It's like, oh, okay. Although I am one of those people. That rules? Every time I listen to one of those songs, I'm like I've turned a leaf. That rules. I've turned a leaf. I don't yeah. like it, man. I don't like it. I was at a barbecue the other day. People were blah blah blah. Yeah. And I was like, not nice guys. Not so you nice. don't love the- you don't love the Second Amendment. What? You don't love two A. Yeah, you keep them tucked, dude. It's fucking Bob. Bob, I love two A. I keep them. Tu- I keep it tucked. I keep it tucked on. Yeah. Speaking of old white guy takes. Yeah. Anything big happened last week? What? That maybe an old white guy would uh, have some takes on. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. With the Supreme oh. Court. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a piss and let you handle this one. <laughs> I could talk about it. I saw somebody quoted you and was like, are the good guys winning? I know. <laughs> it made me laugh. It made me laugh. Yeah, I, I actually tweeted a joke about that that I thought it'd be funny, but it turned into a big argument thing below and I just deleted it. I was like, I don't want, I don't like partisan art. I don't like quibbling. I don't like that. Yeah. But I had a funny joke. I thought it was a funny joke. I was, I, I, my direct quote was, oh, what did I say? I was like, I take solace in the fact that all of the babies who are neutralized through abortion won't have to live in a world where abortion is slightly less accept- accessible. What well, was the Fun joke? joke? That all the unborn dead babies that were aborted won't have to confront a, uh, a world where like abortion oh, is slightly less accessible. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I thought it was a fun play on words. It is fun. I was but fun. it seems actually more like a real actual point. Yeah, which is pretty good. But <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a pretty serious tweet. It was. I thought it was a fun. I was like, that's a clever play. What I do on Twitter, I read. I am smart as hell. Dude, I go Send. On, my, I, I, this is what Twitter oh, is no. for me. I go on Twitter and I go, why is everybody tweeting about the same thing? This is so stupid. And I just go. And Here's slowly, my opinion. I'm like, yeah, as if I'd ever weigh in on this stupid nonsense. And then my brain formulates something. And I'm like, that might be the smartest thing ever. And yeah, I tweet nobody's it. Nobody's even said this and yet. And nobody likes it. And I go, God damn it. No, yeah. it's not. I was like, this is going to really shake things up. And I send it and I go, oh, no, it's just another yeah. stupid tweet that's going down past people's timelines. Kavanaugh is fired up. Cav- Cav's fired up. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't even know. I thought I knew what Roe v. Wade is. I don't even know. So it means like. It's just a federal. Saying abortion's cool federally. Federally. And now every the state states has get to decide. To do it. So the states get to decide now. Now the weed, states get to decide. And abortion is weed still federally. It's time, dude. I have no idea. It's time. Look, I don't want to turn everything into a legalizing weed issue, but yeah, I think if we can, you know, if that's a decision, the if states we're able can to make, just go hog wild and do whatever we want right now, uh, dude. If if that's a decision that the states can make, I think Pennsylvania can decide whether or not I can be kind of stoned every now and again. Certainly, fair enough. That you'll hear that. That's you heard that first here, dude. Guys, you're hearing all the best takes. Well, yeah, dude. That uh, that's why you listen. I honestly, that was one of those things that was like, it's almost uncomfortable because you see the Dems winning, and you're like, come on, give the Repubs one win. They get a big win. You go, oh, yeah, it feels oh, weird when the Republicans win. Yo. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I like it as much as I thought I would. Yeah, I mean, no, I don't, it's it's just gay. I don't feel like I don't like it. With the whole issue, yeah. 
Yeah, it's a deeply personal issue. Well, dude, this is what it makes me is. laugh every time everyone goes because you know it's the whole thing now is like the state gets to decide rather than the federal government, and the federal government was like, no, they like we should let states decide, blah blah blah, so whatever. But it's funny that everyone always goes, well, you know who's going to pay for this more? The poor. This is going to affect the poor. Yeah, it's sure. Like, yeah, dumbass. As does everything because yeah. that's what being poor yeah. is. Yeah, so being does, poor means so you're does maximally- giving our money to Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So does, uh, you know, locking everything down for COVID. Dude, you want to know who got everything. really fucked by locking things down? The poor. The poor. They get that's what that's fundamentally what being poor is. Yeah, Stuff happens in fucked. the world. And if you have money, you're like, I'll hire this. I'll do this. I'll have my house designed. When you're yeah. poor, you go, oh, fuck. You go, it's getting oppie outside. It's getting oppie. That's what being poor. Every yeah. dude, this is like top level rhetoric, rhetoric of like, Andrew Yang came out like, well, this will affect the poor. It's like no fucking hey, shit. Hey, you don't put, don't talk about I like dog. Yang. I like Yang. I think I'm hanging out with him on Thursday. He's the man. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, I like him. <laughs> but I funny? saw him. That was the thing he went to. And it's like, bro, no doy. Everyone else yeah. was saying it too. And it's like, and I, dude, I say that again, I engage in totally free speech with love to all my brothers and sisters of the entire planet. Of course. I'm not out here trying to do barbs on one side or the other. I see something, I go, I just wield the sword of truth as far as yeah. I can see it. I fucking, my blazing sword of discrimination, sure. the good kind of discrimination, I fucking, I blaze it. I can't help but slash, dude. I do that. I saw that so many times. You know who this is going to affect, right? Oh, you can say that easily because you have money. If you were poor, it's like, yeah, dude. It, it would. You were saying life would suck more if I was poor. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, doy. Go ask a poor person, dude. Yeah. Hey, does it like affect you when things happen? Does anything it affects you because you're poor? They're gonna say, huh, <laughs> huh, <laughs> huh? I can't hear you over all this noise I'm hearing in my poor neighborhood. Yeah. This noise is fucking this hell. Shit what are you asking me about? I'm stressed as fuck, huh? Roe v. Wade. Yeah, man. Uh, fucking yeah. Sure. Add that to the fucking pile. Yeah. This neighborhood you guys aren't helping with at all <laughs> because you think we'll be upset if you do. Yeah, it sucks. Huh? What? I, I, you, 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 just, guys, you guys stopped solving crime here. What are you saying? I, I want to fucking <laughs> abort my children. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, I, I desperately want to do that. And I'm pissed off now because I'm poor. This is affecting me yeah. more because the state gets to decide. I will like, say what a though, stupid fucking idea. Sorry. And Yang, I do like Yang. Obviously, I like where Yang went. I told you before when Yang you introduced Yang. I like Yang. You were early on Yang. I like the man. The Yangatang, dude. Yeah, the Yangatang. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking uh, Yangatang. Uh, he's the man, dude. Yeah. A lot of people go again. They're like, dude, fuck Yang, dude. He's fucking. He's at least. I don't know. Him. I don't know shit. I don't know anything about this stuff. I will say he seems to be the only one that's at least trying he's, to be like, what's the issue? How can we talk about it? He seems like the few people who is. Genuine, and we'll see. I've got fooled before, so I think a lot of these politicians are going to come out. I'm not putting smut on Yang's name, but there's a lot of younger people right now who want to see decentralization, which, by the way, is you know what's happening. But they want to see decentralization, and I think Yang points to decentral a possibility of decentralization. Yeah. So I found this out. I don't know. I think I've said this before about abortion. Don't fuck me, Yang. Don't fuck me. Uh, What'd you you find out? Mississippi's more liberal than fucking France when it comes to. I heard that. It's like, bro, really? Although Texas is like six or eight weeks, which is. That's a heartbeat. Six or eight that's, weeks. That's is why a that's the name of the act. Heartbeat Still and heartbeat. a tail, but it does have a tail. Still has a tail? Tail. You heartbeat, can kill things tail. with tails. Okay, fair enough. I'll that's say That's a good argument. And this is this is where I come from. If I was in Texas to say, is that thing still got a tail? They'd say, uh, yes, yeah, Senator. I believe it does. Sir. Senator, yes, it does still have a tail. tail. It's like, well, then you can kill it. Am I right, y'all? They'd say, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. How big is this tail? How big are we talking? That's true. And I do they, hate. I do hate the fucking. You know, we we goof on the libs a lot. Yeah. Truthfully, it's because we're surrounded by libs constantly fucking Very being true. gay. True. The fucking southern or not just southern, just the Republicans pretending to be Christian. Yeah. And giving a fuck about abortion. Oh, they got crushed. In Those the night, dudes yeah. fucking suck. That was it the does Bush. need to be said. Those dudes are as gay as it gets. They were the Bush era SJWs. Basically. I watched a, there was a nice little debate. It wasn't great, but it was between, uh, I think, Lindsey Graham and uh, Bernie. Yeah. Bernie rules. He got steamrolled by the fucking damn. Lindsey Graham. Let me, make sure I'm right on Lindsey Graham. Is he the one that looks like a boy? He looks like the guy <laughs> yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Is he the one who looks like Morgan and Morgan? <laughs> that fucking child faced yeah. old dude. <laughs> yes. God, I hate that fucking guy. Yeah. Yeah, he the, stinks. 
Oh, there's there's for sure. Like, there, well, you tell me. You keep talking about that. Oh, blah, dude. blah, blah. He seems like he should have one of those like Colonel Sanders hats on all the yeah. time, like the white paper I'm hats. not racist at all. I swear to God. I know. I've never seen a more clearly like, <laughs> we should have slaves <laughs> type face. <laughs> that guy had him. Dude, that's, you can't that's tell me he did That's the textbook it. had him, dude. Big time, dude. Southern fucking weird dork. I bet he's probably, whatever. I, I keep trashing the South. My bad. My bad, y'all. I just spent a lot of time down there, and I'm having fun. Lindsey Graham's a Southern weird dork. It's not trash in the yeah, South. Yeah, 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 saying yeah. He's probably I, yeah, but I keep it including Southern as if that's an indicator. Eh, slightly less, but I, I slightly do. less trustworthy. I hear a Southerner <laughs> talking slick to me. I'm going, what the hell? If I hear a Southerner my talking, spider I, has, yeah, your spider has... My antennas perk up and I go, this guy doesn't know shit. He's from fucking the South. <laughs> Why don't you shut up, dumbass? Does this guy hate the fucking union, dude? What the fuck? This guy fucking This guy dude, trying to bring back don't, slavery. Don't every time a Southerner talking about is this guy trying to bring back slavery? What the fuck I say, that? don't try to, don't make me bring Sherman back down here. Dude. Oh, man. They don't want you that. You guys, oh, God, Sherman's coming. We better get out. We better hightail it, boys. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's tough. It's, What's that? Lindsey Graham. Oh kinda, my god! Kinda looks dude. like Brian Kelly, dude. He kind of reminds me of Notre Dame's. He old looks coach. like Trump mixed with Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> yeah, look. Give me his Wikipedia. Where'd that cheese dick go to school? Where'd he grow up? He the Citadel. Central South Carolina. Oh, that's a Citadel. University of South Carolina. University of uh, Central South Carolina law. Mm. Oh wow, mm, he's mm, a Gamecock mm. through and through. He's a cock. Mm, mm, Go mm. Cocks. South Carolina does historically stink. South Carolina rules. Dude. South Carolina is a state to go visit. Fucking rules. rules. Shout out Hilton Head. I'm more UNC. Shout out I'm more rules. NC, baby. North Carolina. I love the Carolina. I'm more Tar Heel myself. I go to I'm Carolina in my mind. I go to Carolina in my mind yeah. a lot. Anytime my girlfriend starts fucking chirping, I say, <laughs> go on to Carolina. I start going to the beach. I think, wow, it'd be nice to be sitting on the Outer Banks yeah, with my buddies. Yeah, she girl's got you deaf in one ear. <laughs> yep. Tell you what, if the military <laughs> wanted you to have a wife, they'd issue you one. <laughs> Damn, bro. Now you take now. Hey, now you're bringing me back to my West Point days. <laughs> you keep talking to me like this. Uh, yeah, the abortion shit's weird, man. Because it's like, yeah, let's talk abortion. It's well. Here's the thing, man. I'm, I'm, you know, it is a shame because it's like, I don't want to make people feel bad who had. Like, I, there's no bone in my body that wants to shame a person who has had an abortion. I get it. Maybe I had a girl approach me saying she needed an abortion, asked me for six hundred bucks. I hope to God she was just getting six hundred bucks out of yeah. me. Long time ago. So I get I get the pressure associated with it. No judgment at all. I also understand that there's people who are like, there's a human, a humanoid creature with a heartbeat at six weeks. Maybe we shouldn't kill it. I get that, dude. Yeah. No shame on either side. But it's like, dude, you have people approaching that as if it's life or death. And then you have people and then. But this is this is my most the sinister part of my mind is like. How much of this is not even about life? It's about political people winning out against each other, and I just go. That's all it is. Jesus, man, it's like it's, that's like that was. A, I'm getting the sick feeling. I'm not now. talking about the people protesting in the street or the people <sighs> online, the Facebook dads saying "shut up, sluts." <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm talking about the actual politicians <laughs> knocking pussy hats off of ladies' yeah. heads. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, no, it dude, sucks. it makes me so sick to my stomach, man. I think about it, and I just go because then it's like cause this again. This isn't the trash people. I start to think like. You get like women who are like my career and it's like, I get it. I get Hold it. On, I get here's it. what I will say like, when it comes to the, my career thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of that. There's also a lot of, let's say poor people. Yes. That are trying to work their way out of poverty for sure. That are about to go to college or are working hard to get to college. They get pregnant in high school. Yep. They're not going to be able to get to college. They're going to have to have a kid by themselves and go back into the system yeah. where they keep getting fucked. Yeah. So there is that. So That's you a reality. do need to really mm. acknowledge that. That's true. And again, if we're getting into people's reality. Yeah, dude. It's like poor single motherhood. Yep. You're telling me there's a button you can press and it's like, it, it, this is where I stay. It's like, you're telling me you have to do something that like, it's kind of like killing a puppy. Would you kill a puppy to get out of poor single motherhood? I would. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. It's got a tail. It's a dark part of myself. I don't like to talk about, but it's like, would you do that? Yeah, probably dude. It's like it's like tell, calling that person a murderer. Not the best. Not not the best take. Yeah. Not the best thing. But being like it's nothing. It's not nothing. It's human life. All right. Fucking. I'm like this. Come on, come on guys. Yeah. Come on, guys. How about and that's the other thing too. It's like obviously it's like you have these good Christian women being like we got to save these babies. It's like why well, don't you guys go help poor single mothers, man? And also, yeah. I gotta say this. And poor single mothers, fucking 
Stop having so much goddamn sex. When it comes to the <laughs> fucking sew it up for a minute, dude. No. <laughs> Although that is the ticket out of Portia no. of Motherhood. What are you talking about? Shut up. That is the. Th- that You're is married, th- trying to ruin it for the no, bros. No, that's true. Dude. That is that's the other thing too. Jose always- Canseco just snitch him because he finished. <laughs> that's what you're doing, well, dude. No, 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 no. But I just realized, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm. This is a thought exercise. Yeah, I'm about to whoop your ass. You keep trying to cock block the bros, no, dude. No, no, no. Single mothers keep fucking doing it. Fuck Roe v. Wade. We're gonna do it. Although, We're still gonna abort them. Here's what you I'm can saying. Still here's party, what I'm saying. Dude. As a poor single mother. That's the fucking you're like this with the fucking with the lit up tongs yeah. and you see you're just looking for dongs. They're like fly they're like cargo calls, yeah. dude. You see some guys like, and I'm gonna start an auto business and you're like land oh, it. I think this is gonna work. And yep. then they're just kinda like, I can't handle all this pressure. Yeah. And you're like, God damn it. That dude, there's there's dudes who will just be like the the way out of it, you go you go like this, you knock a lady up and then you go, Look, I'm gonna take care of the kid. I just our relationship's not working, and then you yeah. just—that's the first line of distance. And then you go like, "You're really stressing me about this whole thing. How about I just do weekends?" And you say, "Hey, I'm going to support money when I can." You know, yeah. so that's a, that's a hell. That's a bad hell. A lot of people haven't experienced that. It, I know. think here's how I feel about the whole thing. What? I think there's a lot of people going with because me included. Yeah. I would. I can't sit around and be like, "You better not get an abortion." Yeah. It's like I might have to pull that trigger if it if it came my way. You know what I mean? You think you pull the trig? There certainly were times in my life I would. I don't know about right true. now. That's true. But there certainly was. If I was younger, I'd be like, yeah. I, I'm living on fucking cans of beans right now. For sure. I don't look. I'm trying to do open mics. I don't want to have to mm-hmm. move home to mommy and daddy to raise a kid. Yeah. Um. So yeah. For sure. Who am I to judge, bro? I no no no. It's not. That's and the I thing. know, of course, we're not judging not anybody. Judging. Getting this. Not from, I'm not. I'm not putting this on you either. I'm saying this no, is personally no, no. how I feel. For sure. For yeah. sure. That's the fucking part. That's what bothers me a lot is I think these a lot, a lot of these politicians coming out there being like, "Well, that's a human life you're ruining." It's like, mm-hmm. hey, you dumbass. What would you do? Would w- you would you get an abortion so you could become a South Carolina senator? I bet you would. Yeah, I bet you've done a lot worse to get where you are. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. And that's, that's my opinion. That's the problem. At this is where this is where I like I'm, to give opinions on record. You should record it into a microphone. I like doing that. You should do that. Yeah. I mean, the, the problem is we should be, be continuously feeding thoughts into a thing that's like, OK, that's cool. That's but people will see that and go, well, I'm going to use that to destroy you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I also change dude. my mind every fucking two hours. Well, yeah, but I, the, the problem, this is the thing I say again, I could just be a fucking dumbass, but it's like. It just sucks that like it, it is a human life but it's also like like this is what i and again it's not the abortion thing it's like if you want even outside of abortion like if you want to have a kid you have to have a job if you need to have a, if you have to have a job you have to send your kid to a daycare so you know the whole way the whole thing is not set up for exactly for human joy yeah <laughs> like having a great contented life let's read our ads talk about lucy <laughs> <laughs> you, you like that you saw me go for it <laughs> thank you guys I like Lucy. I got these new Lucy breakers. <laughs> Holy shit, these things are good. Uh, I get my nicotine fix without the smoke. Yeah, I enjoy Lucy anywhere. I can't smoke. The airport, the ballpark. They know I'm going to ballparks. Dude. <laughs> my hotel room. That's actually pretty much the only three places I've been. Ballpark, Airports, hotel rooms? ballparks, hotel rooms. Check out the full line of products at lucy.co. Use promo code drenched at checkout. That's lucy.co. Be sure to use promo code drenched. If you're a listener from Canada, Lucy is now available at ca.lucy.co. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Great. Thank you, Lucy. I'll tell you what. You like these new mangoes? How do you feel about that? I do. Very tasty. Pretty good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, that'd be nice. Especially if you have to have Delicious. like a really important Shh. conversation with a girlfriend. Pop in is in. If you're stressed, your girlfriend's like, Lucy, I don't not know Zin, what not I want to do. Lucy, 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 Lucy. What? Lucy, not Zen. There's a difference. Lucy, I'm saying. Lucy, Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. I meant Lucy products. It's superior. Pop in and Lucy. It's hey, superior. if you're about to debate whether or not you should keep a child. That's what I'm saying. You get don't stressed. Let, don't let fucking SCOTUS get in the way. <laughs> Toss in a Lucy. You say, hey, Clarence Thomas and Brett Kavanaugh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got to go to college to get out of this endless cycle of poverty. Mm. Shut up. Yeah, hopefully. Or hopefully you, know? you don't just continually chase pleasure. That's another thing you could do. Hey, hopefully not. Hopefully not, though. Sometimes you can chase pleasure. Sometimes. Fuck it. You know who um, You know who I think should decide whether or not I chase pleasure? Yeah. Brett Kavanaugh. True. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should be the judge. What about death penalty? 
kill them. True. <laughs> you're, cut, you're just fucking cut their fucking heads <laughs> off, dude. And for real. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I just. Did you say less is more? Less is more. Yeah, yeah. Less, is less is more. Dude. Fucking, you want the guilt? You're Robespierre. How dare you? <laughs> you know, you know, I was just reading Lafayette, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I'm the Marquis, dude. Don't you dare. Well, dude, speaking of doing secret, furative business, dude, maybe you don't want the people to know what you're up to. You've heard me talk about how important it is to have a VPN to protect your online privacy. Yeah, you don't want you don't want them coming back and seeing you Google nearest abortion center. <laughs> Choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. Hey Siri, where can I get this fucking baby scooped out? Hey Siri, when does a heartbeat start? I could go to University of Delaware. I could either be a blue hen or a mother. Or a mother hen, dude. Or a mother hen. Hey, Amen. And let me tell you. I use ExpressVPN on my phone to browse the web, dude. I'll just leave it at that. ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market. They don't log your activity online. Lots of cheap or free BP- VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers. ExpressVPN developed a technology trusted server that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing any data at all, inclu- including looking up large amounts of manure fertilizer. Express VPN use, now uses Lightway, a new VPN protocol they engineer to make their speeds faster than ever. It's always blazing fast and lets me stream videos in HD quality with zero, bids. zero buffering, dude. If you're trying to remain celibate so they don't get into a jam. Express VPN is easy to use. You don't need any technical skills to get set up. Just fire up the app and tap one button to connect. That's it. Many tech journals like Business Insider and The Verge rate ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. Verbatim, protect yourself with VPN that I use and trust. Use our link expressvpn.com slash drenched and get an extra three months free with a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash drenched. Come on. Visit expressvpn.com slash drenched to learn more. All right. Back yeah, to man. abortion. I just wish people would approach the situation with a little more love and understanding, dude. Oh, little yeah. A little less fucking gavel swinging and just be like, dude, here's yeah. what I think about it. I wonder I if it's you. I wonder if it's time for I wonder if it's a nice little trick, you know, not to get conspiratorial. Yeah. But it's like, hey, I think the economy might about to be collapsing. Let's have them not point fingers. Let's go ahead and make them argue about abortion dude, again. Dude, I when that thing came out, I went, oh, you motherfuckers. I yeah. thought the same thing. I went, oh, these they're trying yeah. to start some hey, bad gas stuff. Gas is $7 and uh, the housing market's going to crash and everything's going to shit. Dude, Let's have them argue about abortion again. I mean, and this is this is like, it's fucked up because I, I genuinely thought about that. I was like, dude, are they really like, are they pressing like another button now? I'm like, all right, we got the whole Trump thing. Let's go this one. Yeah. Let's drop this it's one. still right Trump, now. by the way. It's always Trump. Oh, yeah. I've never every fucking clip or anything I see from Biden. He's like, it was the last administration, man. Oh, I know. They, they've Come been on, doing that forever. We're trying to fix this thing. It's fucking bullshit. I got to work on my Biden. That's not bad. I got to figure uh, it out. I got to watch him more. True. You don't he see doesn't him. speak. It. You yeah. don't see him that much. He's falling off bicycles. He's just more of a. <laughs> yeah. Did you see Trump after he fell off the bike? <laughs> he said, I, what do you say? I don't oh, ride bikes. Yeah. He gave it. He was like, President Biden. <laughs> he's giving a fucking. He's in yeah. Tennessee. He was in Tennessee giving it in an arena. He's like, we're worried about him. He fell off his bicycle. <laughs> like he just yeah. kept saying, "We're really worried about him." He just fell off his bicycle. <laughs> I promise you, I'll never ride a bicycle. And the crowd's like, oh. "He's just killing, dude. He keeps killing." It's yeah, it's just fucking nuts, man. The whole thing is just bizarre to me because it's like, dude, especially when they go the religious angle because they go like, "Well, what would you say to a person who would have been born but they weren't?" It's like. It's a heavy thing to think about, and that's like a really fucked up thing to think yeah. about. It's very terrible and sad and very shitty. It sucks. Yeah. But it's like when they attack it with like hatred, it's like, dude, come on, man. Sure. Use that Christian love, dude. All that stuff there. It's like, dude, that lady just aborted her child. Yeah. Maybe go give her a hug and console her rather than being you fucking murdering piece of shit. It's what like, would Jesus do there? They would hug the lady. I bet Jesus, Jesus would, would hug the lady. Jesus would have hugged her. Hug the lady, and you'd hey. point up to the fucking. I don't go to Ephesians. And be like, dude, the war is between the fucking us and the masters, dude. Let's stop squabbling. With the, that wasn't from Ephesians. Yeah, between the dark forces. Yeah, it's like clearly you and I shouldn't be fighting. Like, yo, man, that fucking sucks. You had to get an abortion. He would say, hey, I hope you get your new job. He without sin cast the first stone. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Wow, dude. It's all about. It's like, hey, dude. Sorry about all that shit. I was talking about locking up pistachios at Dwayne Reed. <laughs> I was fired up, and then you know I got to thinking about it, and I was uh, I was wrong. Let's lock up the shit, lock up the chips. 
lock, lock them up. up. I'm gonna flip those. Fuck. I'm gonna flip those pistachios, dude. Like, True. Fuck. What the hell is this? How dare you? And my father's Dwayne Reed. This is my father's Dwayne Reed. Yeah, it just fucks me up, dude. And then the whole the political system at large is just like two eight, two octogenarians being like, you see that other fucking idiot fall, pussy, dumbass, and everyone's like, ah, I've identified with the winning and dominant eighty year old. My man. guy doesn't fall off, but ah, it's dude, it's fucking crazy. We need why what are those fucking sluts doing? Fuck them. Ah, yeah. Meanwhile, like, that whole crowd's probably like, I've tossed a couple away. Oh, dude, for sure. I've I've tossed one. But I feel bad about it. Yeah, it's terrible. It's a it's a terrible thing that is a economical necessity within our current circumstances that we find ourselves oh. in. And it's very sad. All right. Let's switch over to the Patreon. We got the Beezer sitting Fucking outside. Fucking love you guys, dude. Hang in there. Hey, I love you. Yeah, for real, dude. It's nothing but love. You got to approach it with a little more love, dude. I don't, you don't have to try to win online, dude. Just be like, yo, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Also, yes, well, one of our human brothers did fall to the machine. At your hands, and that's so fucking sad. And I'm sorry, and I fucking love you guys. What do we do, man? What can we do other than love? Push on, dude. That's it. Love, try to make people. Hey, guys, if you're out there listening to this right now, just try to make someone else happy. Today. Most people are trapped between being like, <laughs> I just don't want to think or talk or, about this. Instead of trying to make somebody happy, you could get on Facebook and troll the fuck <laughs> out of us. Just ruin motherfuckers' days, dude. Yeah. Or just be like, what do you think, mom? <laughs> I will carry that into Twitter for you. No problem. Yes. And fight anyone who disagrees with my parents' belief. All right. God yeah. bless you. Love Have you. a good day. We're going to Patreon if you want to listen to us there. Get over there, dude.